What's up friends of YouTube? Derek Van Deest here with Zandam Music. In today's workflow session, we're going to be taking a look at the basics of Machine Studio, which is this hardware right here. So let's hop right into it. Alright, so here you'll see that I have an instance of Machine 2 opened up, and this is what the main screen looks like. So I'm not going to go into detail about every little function in here. I'm just going to be going through a workflow session for beginners. So I'm going to close out of this window for now. And uh, I'm going to head back into, I'm going to head over to the Machine Studio hardware. And I'm going to start by clicking Shift Browse to locate my first sound. Next, I'm going to click Sound. And I'm going to scroll through the different vendors until I find the one that I that I'm looking for. So here it is, Arturia. Next, I'm going to use the scroll wheel to find the right instrument I'm looking for, which is DX75. I'm going to click the center to enter. And we'll head back to the window here. And here you'll see that the instrument has loaded up the DX7. I'm going to double click it. And that's going to open up the instrument window through their presets and I'm gonna find a key sound I'm gonna try one at random next I'm gonna click on monitor and I'm also gonna rename this chord progression or just chords I'm gonna color that red so we're gonna start with a simple chord progression using a piano so the next thing I'm gonna do is head back into the machine hardware and I'm gonna click pad mode Next, I'm going to click Fixed Velocity so that every key plays at the same velocity. And I'm going to Shift-click Pad Mode to enter the Piano Mode. So let's hear what that sounds like. Alright, so I'm going to go back to the window and I'm going to look for a different preset. All right, I'm going to use this one for now. So back in the machine hardware, I want to find the chord section, which is this knob here. And I'm going to switch it to minor because I want to make a minor chord progression. Next, I'm going to move the chord knob and I'm going to go to chord set and I'm going to look for one of the minor chord sets. So let's try the first one. Let's hear what that sounds like. Alright, for the sake of this demonstration, I'm just going to use that chord progression. So let's head back to the window, and I'm going to close out the instrument, and I'm going to click randomly on any anywhere in this window so that I can set the pattern length. And I'm going to change the pattern length to 4 bars. Next I'm going to remove that so that I can start fresh. Alright, up next I'm going, I'm going to click on the record so that I can arm the instrument for recording and I'm also going to turn on the metronome down here okay I'm also going to click on the record button down here next I'm going to go to the machine hardware I'm going to click on record and we're going to record to the beat here Okay, next I'm going to click Quantize, and there we go, we have a chord progression. I'm going to click Record to exit out. I'm going to go back to the window, I'm going to exit off the record here, and as well as up here. I'm also going to turn off Monitoring. I'm going to double check the window here to make sure everything's playing in, in sync. And this one's a little bit off, so I'm going to highlight all of the keys here, all of the notes. And I'm going to click and drag them to the start. I'm going to turn off the metronome. Alright. So the chord progression is set. Next thing I'm going to do is open up another instrument now. Let's go for a melody sound. 
So in the window, I can click on this plus icon to add another group. So I'm gonna delete that so I can show you another way. Or in the machine hardware, I can click on the group button for letter B here, and that'll open up a new instrument. The next thing I'm gonna do is shift browse like I did before, and sound, I'm gonna go through the vendors, and I wanna use another one from Arturia, so I'm gonna scroll down using the uh, jog wheel here, and I'm gonna find Farfisa 5, and I'm gonna click the center. Now back in the window, same process, we're gonna see the sound load in this window. Takes a little while sometimes. There it is. I'm gonna double click it. There it is, okay, awesome. Let's see what uh, what we can find here. I'm gonna find a uh, another key, and it looks like they only have three, so let's try the first one. Also, uh, I need to monitor in order to hear what it's like. Get live. So I'm gonna go back to the machine hardware. I'm gonna click on pad mode, and then shift pad mode for the keyboard. And I'm gonna take it off chord mode, which it is, it's off chord mode. And I'm going to start playing to see if it's what it sounds like. So I don't like that sound. I'm going to go back to the window and try a different preset. And let's hear what it sounds like in context. And let me just turn off the metronome here real quick. There we go. So right there, I just, out of, out of the first attempt, I already had a nice little pattern for the melody. But uh, I need to turn up the volume here on this uh, organ, it sounds like. So how do I do that? Let's see. I'm going to turn up the volume on the amp here. And unfortunately, there's a little delay for me on the hardware um, because I'm recording using OBS. So it's going to be a little difficult for me to program a MIDI, but uh, I'll give it my best shot here. All right, so same process. I'm going to go back to the window and click record on everything. So arm for recording. And I'm going to monitor, as well as record down here. Oh, okay, so I made a mistake. I did not record that, <laughs> so I, I forgot to press this record button. So now that I have it on record, it's set for me. And I'm going to wait for the next uh, section so that I can hop in. I'm going to hit quantize, take it off record, and head back to the window. I'm going to take it off record and I'm going to take it off monitor. Now I'm going to go back into the MIDI window and try to fix my mistakes. I don't want these notes to overlap, so I'm going to bring this back. Let's keep moving. I'm going to extend this. Bring this back. And it looks like we're pretty much set here. Oh, one more. And here I'm going to extend, bring this back, and I'm just fixing my little mistakes here. Oh, this one needs to be brought up. There we go. Alright, so next up I'm going to open up another group and this will be the drum group. 
So back on the hardware, I'm going to click C to open up a new group. And I'm also going to do the same process, shift browse. Only uh, this time, I'm going to go back into the window and I'm going to open up one of my drum sets that I have, one of my presets. So I'm going to locate it real quick here within my files. And I have a Hip Hop Soul pre-made machine kit. So I'm going to load the first one. And I, when I double click it, it's going to load all the instruments for me with a pre-made pattern. So I actually don't want that pre-made pattern. Uh, so I'm going to delete it. And uh, by doing that, I can click anywhere and hit Control A to select them all, then delete to get rid of them all. So I'm going to head back to my machine hardware and I'm going to click play. Start playing the drums with, with the music. I can't really play it because there's a delay, so I'm going to have to do it manually. So uh, let's start with the uh, snare. So I'm going to head back to the window, and I'm just going to put it in manually. So I'm going to double click where I think the snare should be. And this kind of defeats the purpose, but it's the only way for me to do it. Just programming a kick pattern. Whoops. All right, there we go. So I got the kick pattern. So for the hi-hat, I'm going to go back into the machine hardware, and this is the hi-hat here. I'm going to click on note repeat, and if I hold it, I can note repeat that hi-hat. Back in the window, I'm going to record as well, as well as monitor and record down here. And I'm ready to record. There we go. So one of the MIDI notes here is off, so I'm going to move it and duplicate it. Or I'm sorry, just double click to insert a new one. I'm gonna turn off record and monitor. All right, so we have a basic beat going there using just three groups within one instance of machine. So I'm going to turn off record here in the machine hardware. And next I'm going to work on the sound levels. So I'm going to click shift navigation or navigate. And in the window here, it's going to bring me to the sound levels. As you can see, a little mixer here, a mixer window. So let's hit play. And let's start adjusting the levels.
I'm going to pan the melody a little bit to the left. All right, now let's exit out of that window by clicking Shift Navigate in the hardware. And back in the window, let's go ahead and add a bass sound. So let's add another group. And we'll finish the project off here with a bass sound. So back in the browse in the uh, machine hardware, I'm gonna click Shift Browse again, Sound, and I'm gonna go through the different vendors, and I'm gonna use uh, another Arturia. All right, and let's scroll down. I'm looking for. Let's see here. Let's try Mini Mini V3, and I'm gonna click Enter. We'll head back to the window. And as soon as it loads up here, we'll take a look at it. All right, there we go. I'm going to double click to open up the mini V3. And I'm going to go through their presets and find a bass sound. All right, next thing I do is monitor that instrument. And I'll head over to the machine hardware. I will shift click pad mode to enter keyboard, and then I'll also click pad mode so that we're in the minor scale. I'm gonna drop that in octave by clicking octave subtract here. All right, I'm gonna play the music and try to come up with a little bass progression here for it. Uh, let's see here. set up here. So I'm going to click record in the hardware. I'm going to go to the window. I'm going to click record, arm for recording, and I'm also going to click record down here. All right, back in the machine hardware. Let's do this. back to the window, turn off arm for recording, turn off monitoring, and turn off recording down here. Now I'm going to take a look at the notes, make sure they're all sounding correctly. all the velocity up to 100 percent all right and there you have it guys i made a simple beat just using four groups within machine all right so the next thing for me to do would be to add some patterns to those so i can have everything playing here i'll turn off pattern one as you can see, the melody is not playing anymore. I'll turn off the bass here. And uh, I can use this technique uh, within different scenes so that I can come up with a, a nice arrangement for the final product. I can also create a new pattern, for example, for the, for the melody and switch up the melody in a different scene. And that's a, a basic beat here using machine. I hope you guys learned something today. And uh, thank you all for joining me. And I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.